Hi everyone, my name is Ruben, I'm the founder of StackSync, and today I'm very excited to show you how to synchronize your Salesforce uh, CRM with a Postgres database in two-way syncing and real-time. So let's get started. Our initial goal is to synchronize this Salesforce table, so accounts table, for example, with all of our data, to a Postgres database in which there is nothing yet, for example, here. And we have to create some tables, therefore. So the first step is to go on the StackSync dashboard, where we can see all of the bases which are currently syncing and create a new base. First thing first, we have to connect the apps and authorize them for, for StackSync to be able to access the data and synchronize it. So uh, Salesforce, for example, we're gonna connect uh, with new credentials. We connect here and that's it. Then we can connect a second app, which is Postgres. So let's go with Postgres and use some credentials that we, that, that we have already used before. Here we go. So then we can choose a region on which we want uh, our data to be processed, for example, uh, in Germany. So let's go with processing in Germany. For each of the Salesforce table, the second step is actually to map tables with Postgres. So here, we're gonna deselect all of them and we can either choose to create a new table to map it to an existing table in Postgres. So if you already have a, 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 an accounts table, for example, in Postgres that you want to sync with Salesforce, uh, this is also a possibility. So here we're gonna create a new table for account and contact, for example. We can also uh, choose the sync direction, but for this example, we're gonna keep bidirectional uh, to show all the power of stack sync. The third step is to actually map the fields. So for each table of Salesforce that we have selected to sync, um, we're gonna have to map all the fields uh, of it to a field in Postgres. So we have here auto mapping, so it's already done for us, but we can see that, but we can see that there are so many fields. So we can also choose, for example, to rename a field or just not to sync it. It's also a possibility. Let's create a base. So here, as we can see, um, the data should be flowing. And therefore here, if we refresh, we should have some tables appearing. Here we go, the account and context table. So let's open the accounts table. Here we have the exact same data now as we have here in Salesforce. So here it becomes very easy to update data on each of the side. Uh, and basically if you update in Postgres, uh, it's gonna modify in Salesforce and vice versa. So let's create a record here uh, to show. So here for example, a new contact would be Google, uh, Google ENC, um, let's commit. And now if we go straight into our CRM, we can just refresh and Google should be appearing here. Uh, there we go, Google. And for example, if we made a mistake and we want to change it and actually it's Google, uh, Google Europe. There we go. We can just um, update it and it's gonna update immediately into um, Postgres. Here we refresh Google Europe and all the fields which are missing, such as the ID, etc., just appear. And here, if we want to update it to Google uh, Asia, um, we can just um, commit. And actually it just works with uh, creation of records, update and delete. And also like if you do a thousand of records at a time, it also works. So here, there we go. So here we now Google Asia and actually here we can change, uh, we can change the channel. Uh, let's do its prospect. We go straight here and now it's gonna update. Prospect, so it's very fast. And actually, so now the good thing about it is that you don't have to go uh, anymore into um, into the Salesforce documentation, API, rotating security tokens, etc. So all of this is managed by StackSync and you just have to uh, modify your database or your CRM and basically both of them keep in sync. So it's very powerful. There are a lot of features such as triggers, uh, security, uh, auto update of schemas, uh, which are also included in StackSync. So thank you very much for watching, and I'm very excited to see you all syncing your data with StackSync, integrate your CRM, and activate your data at scale.